Hello, everybody. This is Kyra Gamora. Let's play Metal Gear Saga Chapter 1, Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater. And, uh, for those who didn't pay attention to the last episode, first off, why are you in this one, if you haven't seen the last one? Secondly, the beep, 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 beep noise is because I have the cigar equipped. Why? Why not? First, let's set about tranking everybody in the room so I can go about my business in peace. Huh? Who's that? <laughs> oh, damn it. Last actually kind of hurt a lot. Just because I can't really see. Okay, why did it not let me do that the first damn time? I think that's pretty much everyone. Nope, there's another one. Go investigate the sound. The things I do. Oh, right there. Thanks. So, am I not in the right room? I'm pretty sure this is the right room, but I don't remember where the tanks are. Or maybe this isn't. No. There we go. There's one. the shaggle hot itself. Canceling the alert. Return to your position. 
They can't. They're unconscious. I may not be very good at my job, but I do it anyway. There's one of them, I think. No, those are just crates. Maybe they're on the map. I doubt it. Be one of the first times the map was ever useful for anything. Oh my god, it's useful for something. It's telling me there's one right up ahead. Or maybe that's one that I've already marked. Yeah, that's the one I've already marked. when they were all on the ground floor. Maybe some of them really are upstairs. Or... No. I'm gonna beat your little ass, Willow. Stay up there. Quit knocking stuff down. No, stay up there. <sighs> this kitty cat's driving me nuts. Stay! Oh, derp. There's one. Snake? Eba. I finished planting the bomb on the rail bridge. If we get rid of the bridge, the enemy won't be able to follow us. That should at least buy us some time. I've also set up the escape route. How are things going on your end? I just finished planting the second charge. Give me a little more time. Okay. I'll be waiting for you at the bridge. That settles it though, they're all on separate floors. Apparently took long enough that everybody woke right back up. Wonderful. Here's the last one. There we go. Adventures with explosives. Yay.
<laughs> Got you this time. And that's the cue. Major, I finished planting the C3. I'm on my way out now. Hurry, Snake. Is Eva taking care of the escape route? Yeah. Are you sure? She can handle it. All right, then. We'll hurry up and get out of there. Snake! I'd like to see you dismantle that knife. Uh, try it. Sorrow shows me the countdown. Yeah, yeah, save data, data saved. You may notice I haven't been doing paramedic saves because I haven't been stopping. I've at most taken maybe a five minute break between episodes to pee or get some cheese balls or something. This has all been marathoned from episode 15 on. I'm going to finish this damn game tonight. This woman was found snooping around my underground vault. When she was captured, look what we found on her. The Philosopher's Legacy. This microfilm contains all the information regarding the Legacy. You might say that this film itself is the Philosopher's Legacy. It was the smell that gave her away. No, not the perfume. It was gasoline. Motorcycle gasoline. <laughs> she reeked of it. Yeah, I imagine so. To think that lovely Tatiana was a spy. We found this radio along with her too. Such a fine woman she was. It almost pains me to have to kill her. <laughs> yes, she was an obedient one. She was my precious little pet. Isn't that right? What was that? Hello? Do you have something to say Over to me? Over here, baby. Go to hell! You dirty whore. I've had enough. Kisses from you. I should have known. Sokolov wasn't man enough to have a lover like that. Just like the KGB to send something so beautiful, yet so deadly. What is the philosopher's legacy? He's told you three times. Three different people told you that. Before I kill you. 
During the last great war, the most powerful men in America, China, and the Soviet Union had a secret pact. The pact was a blueprint for defeating the Axis powers and creating a new world order. To secure victory in the war, the three countries pooled their resources to conduct the most covert types of operations and research. The atomic bomb, rocket technology, the Cobra unit. And they amassed an enormous sum of money to fund these projects, enough to fight the war five times over. That wealth is the philosopher's legacy. After the war was won, the three countries were to divide the philosopher's legacy amongst themselves. This explains why the United States and the Soviet Union were able to steal away the best scientific minds in Germany as soon as the war ended. Now, chalk this up but perhaps to my naivete, but I could have sworn that since Russia was a rivals. communist nation, they didn't really have money. We possess money. enormous wealth, the most advanced technology, and overwhelming Maybe power. Maybe I'm just an idiot. Assets fitting of our great lay down, country. Willow. If you're going to be here, my lay down. My father was one of the men in charge of managing the philosopher's legacy. In the confusion that ensued after the war ended, he devised a series of ingenious plots to ensure that the Soviet Union would have total control over the legacy. The money was divided up and laundered through banks all over the world. Switzerland, Australia, and Hong Kong. This microfilm contains a record of all those transactions. After my father's death, I learned of this secret and obtained the microfilm. With this money and the support of Brezhnev and his allies, I built this fortress of Groznygrad and Granin's research facility. But oh, that I'll worthless go play, fool Granin failed to produce results. I was forced to turn to Khrushchev's dog Sokolov and his invention, the Shagohod. My position in Gru made it too troublesome to attack Sokolov's facility directly. But the spy network established by the secret pact still existed. I used it to contact the boss and suggested that she defect. The boss was conniving enough to see things my what way. What is Gru, I wonder? The world was once one, but the conflict between the philosophers has torn it in two. We will use the legacy to heal that rift and make the world whole again. Yeah, I was hoping to, to have this, this episode strength, have the fight with Bolden, but with all this cutscene, I'm probably just going to cut and to do the, the fight next video. That trump card was to be the Shago Hod and the Cobra unit. One out of two ain't bad. I have lost the Cobras, but I still have the Shago Hod and the Legacy. Oh, so two out of three. There then. is nothing America can do to stop us. Except kill you. Boss, take this someplace safe. Take good care of it. He wouldn't have come waltzing back in here unless he had a reason. The C-3's been stolen. He must be planning some sort of sabotage. I'll go see if there are any surprises waiting for us. I'll dispose of her as well. Everything to me. Fight like a warrior, Vulgan. But of course.
I'm not looking forward to the final episode of this because it's going to be like an him. hour of cutscene or something. I've been waiting for this moment. Time to get even. Nope, not this time either, big guy. No more judo, and no more field strips. Enough of this. He's mine. You will stand right there and watch. Got it? Please, Colonel, let me... Silence! Yeah, this is him telling me the time again. Seven minutes. Sorry for the delay. Let's get started, shall we? No, actually. We're going to pause. <laughs> This is a once in a lifetime battle. Let's make it a good one. Will be that. Well, about as good as an easy gun battle can be. I call you discharge. And we're calling it there. See you next time, everyone. Bye-bye.